Hello world! Welcome to CS50 Problem Set 1 Hello Walkthrough. Now it's a very simple problem set and the main reason I'm making this video is actually so that I can guide you guys through the process of actually using the IDE correctly because I know it may be complicated for some people. Alright, so first of all we have a blank terminal right so let's type mkdir psat1. Now make a directory called psat1 and then cd psat1 which means change directory to psat1. Now within psat1 we want to make another directory called hello. So make dir hello and then change directory to hello so cd hello. Alright now that we're done with that click on the folder and you guys will not have any of these you guys will just have this psat1. Now click on this. Now click on the hello right click it and then click new file and this new file let's call it hello.c alright now double tap on hello.c alright um, so now we have a blank uh, we have a blank slate and what we need to do now is first thing we need to do is include the normal libraries right so let's include standard io.h and also include cs50.h. Now this, these are just the libraries so that we can use the functions, all right? So let's make a comment, include libraries. All right. Now to start the program, we need to do int main void. And this is nothing more than just saying when green flag clicked on scratch, all right? So int main void, open the flower brackets, the flower brackets. Um, so so what do we need to really do in this program? Well, we need to take some user input and then we need to say hello to whatever the user inputs. So let's say the user inputs David. We need to say hello David, right? So first thing we need to do is prompt the user for some input. So let's first create a variable called name and that variable is a string, right? Because it's letters. So string name equals now how do we get some input from the user? If you remember from the lecture, it's using the get function, all right? So get underscore, and we want a name from the user, so that's a string. So get underscore string, and we prompt the user for some input. Let's say, what is your name, question mark? And then we want a new line, all right? So backslash n, that's how we do a new line. And semicolon, semicolon is just like a full stop. Right, so it's like that's the end of the thought. Now we don't just want to prompt the user for input, we want to say hello name, whatever the, whatever name the user inputs, right? So now we can use the printf function. So printf, let's say hello, comma, and now we wanna we wanna say hello to whoever to whatever name they type in. But we don't know what name that's gonna be, right? Because that depends on the user. So we can use a placeholder. So we just write percent %s because it's a string. So hello percent %s. And now we just need to tell the computer where do we need to get it from. So we need to get it with the percent %s comes from a variable called name. So percent %s comma name, right? And that's outside the quotation marks. So now we just need to put a semicolon, all right? And that's pretty much it. Let's just go to file, save. All right, all changes saved. Now let's try to make hello, compile it. All right, seems to be going well, dot slash hello. What is your name? Uh, let's say David. Hello, David. Okay, this is correct, right, technically, but uh, we have to also print a new line because it doesn't look nice here, does it? So let's, we forgot to put the backslash N, that's just to print a new line. Now let's compile it again, make hello. All right, seems to be doing well, dot slash hello. What is your name? Let's say Bob. Hello, Bob, okay. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. It was very, very simple. Now let's just put some comments to make it very clear. So this line, if you remember, was to get user input, right? And the next line was to print hello, comma, user input. So, this, so those are the commands, right? And the commands are just to make it very clear with us and it gives us points as well. 
So we're actually graded based on two things, the correctness of your code and the style of your code, all right? So now we just need to check whether everything's correct. So we copy the thing from here, check function from here, and we copy it into the terminal, right? It asks us for a GitHub username. Let's put that in and our password as well. All right, it's gonna verify. Should be correct as we've tested it out, but doesn't hurt, try again. And by the way, guys, make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be doing walkthroughs for every single problem set. Uh, for Mario, cash, credit, every single problem set of CS50 is gonna be posted to this channel. So make sure you subscribe. And okay, so it seems to be correct. Now let's check for the style, style50hello.c, right? Okay, it's telling us to put, oh, okay. So we shouldn't have a space in the int main void part. Let's try that again, style 50. Looks good, all right. So when we're done with that, we can actually just go ahead and copy the submit function and paste it into our terminal again. Now I'm not gonna submit because I've already submitted, but you guys get the gist of it. Now this is a very easy problem set guys. It does get harder, so good luck with that, but this is it for this video guys. Make sure to leave a like if, if you enjoyed, if it helped you at all. And make sure to subscribe for all future videos. Thanks guys. Bye David.